Hey guys, it's the beginning of a new vlog. It is Saturday evening. This one curl is bothering me, but I wanted to show you guys. I went to Walmart and I got some cute little Christmas stuff. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, let me prop you guys up. I wanted to show you what I got. This curl is bothering me. We had like a little decorating competition for Halloween, um, like a door decorating competition. So I wanted to get this for the Christmas one. I'm assuming we're gonna have it. So I got that. It's like a little Santa Claus. That's adorable. This cute little candy pillow. Adorable. Then I got these two cute ornaments. I love gingerbread houses. Like gingerbread things are like my theme for Christmas. That curl is bothering. Please just don't comment on the curl. And then I also got this cute little gingerbread stocking holder. How freaking cute is this? Obsessed. I've been trying to catch all the cute Christmas pillows at Target, but every time I go, there's no cute ones because everyone buys them out. So I'm excited to put these. I really want to redecorate my Christmas tree because I just don't like how it looks. I need to like refluff it. I think I kind of did it rushed. Um, so I want to like redo it, make it look cuter because I'm not in love. But oh my gosh, these ornaments, I really can't get over them. They're just so cute. Come on, all right. But yeah, this morning I tried to take a nap, or not this morning, I'm sorry. So this afternoon, like around five or four, I tried to take like a mid-afternoon nap and I couldn't. Like I gave myself an hour because I we went to dinner today, Saturday. We do Saturday dinners at my parents' house. Um, and I was trying to do like a, a afternoon nap before dinner and I could not fall asleep. I laid on my couch for an hour trying to fall asleep and I couldn't, so. At the end of the hour that I gave myself to take a nap, I was like, all right, I guess I have to leave for my parents' house now because, and I was like tired enough to go to sleep. I just, I would close my eyes and like my mind would just race and couldn't take a nap. So that was frustrating. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I just couldn't take a nap today. I was kind of frustrated, but let's go ahead and hang my stocking and put my new ornament on my tree. Hey guys. Do you guys see my cute little garland and my little bows behind me? I went all out. I'll give you guys a little tour. I'm going to two different houses for Thanksgiving. So in one house, I am, I was asked to bring cornbread. And then in the other house, I'm bringing uh, little pigs in a blanket. I'm no chef, okay? There's a handful of things I know how to make. And so if you're going to come on here and judge me, this ain't that. So I'm going to ask you to like exit stage left. But... For the pigs in a blanket, I'm using little crescent rolls. These are like little sheets, crescent roll sheets. And then I'm using Kroger brand cocktail smokies because they didn't have the other brand because I got this today and it was the day before Thanksgiving and freaking fries was packed. So I got that and then I got two boxes of honey cornbread. I made this one time before and it was a hit. I think I made it for Christmas, either last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. And the family that I'm going to um, that asked for this, they asked they asked for it because they liked it the last time I made it. So I, I really just follow the instructions. Um, I do milk and then it asks for vegetable oil or butter, I do butter. And then it asks for one egg. It's so simple, but then I also do like a honey butter on top chef's kiss she asked for two pans of that so i got two of those and yeah i'm gonna do a little montage of me making the little smokies i say little smokies because that's what they're called but like the little pigs in a blanket like i said i'm going to two different houses so i'm gonna start the day out really early i'm gonna start it at like 2 p.m but i wanted to prep everything tonight so that i don't have to like rush and make everything like i think the cornbread is gonna take like a half an hour to like bake in the oven 27 to 29 minutes it says so i want to have it prepped so that i'm not like rushing to make everything the little smokies i think only take they only take where does it say it 10 minutes to bake so i think i want to do the cornbread first and then i'll do these so that these don't taste so, the, so that the cornbread doesn't taste like this you know what i'm saying okay Let's cut the chit-chatting and let's start 
the prepping. I'm also gonna have my iPad over here playing Team Mom OG. That's my newest hyperfixation. So my screen's dirty, don't mind that, but I have it on Paramount Plus. And yeah, I'm on season five of Team Mom OG, episode eight. I've been binge watching it, so. My bar stools got here um, earlier today. I'm gonna do that later, but I'm excited. Um, but I'm gonna put aluminum foil over them, put them in the refrigerator, and then I'll bake them in the morning, and then I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna start working on the cornbread now, so. the pans with butter <laughs> and poured it in I'm watching team mom over there made a coffee keep me going I'm gonna start getting ready and put these in the oven good morning happy Thanksgiving I'm gonna get ready really quick I threw some jewelry on I did my nails and I threw some cute little bobby pins in my hair I'm gonna do like a very light makeup I'm going to two separate houses for Thanksgiving one of the houses acts that we wear flannel so I'm wearing a black jumpsuit and I'm going to throw a flannel like over my waist. I'll show you guys that. First house that I'm going to, I made pigs in a blanket for. And then the second house that I'm going to, I made cornbread. I think I told you guys that last night. Um, the cornbread is out of the oven. I don't know if I showed you guys or did I? I'll show you guys when I get up. But the second, the pigs in a blanket haven't been done yet just because that's like an appetizer. And I want it to stay like fresh. But after I'm done getting ready, I'll pop them in the oven and then... And then we'll head on our way. I'm trying to speed through because it's 1.30. And I have to be at the first house like 2-ish. And I have to go and drop off the cornbread at my mom's house. Because my mom's going to that second house first. Well, my mom's just going to the second house. She's not going to the first house that I'm going to. So I'm going to give her the cornbread to bring over to the first house. Or the second house. Or her only house that she's going to. Look how red my lips get with that buxom lip plump stuff. I haven't used it in so long. Also don't mind my desk behind me. This is where I work. I just threw my little a little table up here so I can do my makeup really quick. Because since I don't do my makeup often, I don't have my vanity set up anymore. Um, but of course for like special occasions like Thanksgiving and stuff like that, I wanna look cute and presentable. So that's what we're doing I'm throwing some concealer I had my coffee this morning I woke up at 11 today and I loved every second of it sleeping in is my favorite thing to do I absolutely love sleeping in let me know down in the comments if you guys are making anything or what your Thanksgiving plans are are you guys going Black Friday shopping because let me tell you I don't know if this all of a sudden happened after COVID because I assumed it was like a West Coast thing that Black Friday just isn't as popular. But when I used to live in, in New York, Black Friday was like a thing. 
like you would literally start black friday shopping thursday night after you ate your dinner you would go and like stand in lines for like tvs and stuff like that um and i moved to arizona right in the middle of covid we moved in 2020 like may of 2020 is when we moved over here so our last thanksgiving and black friday was not the year maybe like 2018 and once we came over here and like covid kind of like minimized it didn't go away of course it's still going on but um when we came over here and like covid like got a little bit better um and like people started doing black friday shopping i realized that it's not really a thing over here like they have black friday sales but it's normally like throughout the month of november and then when it comes to like waiting in like there's nothing to wait in a line for here like i don't know if you guys are just not taking it as serious i don't know if there's like not that many sales in new york anymore either if like after covid things changed but yeah i don't know black friday used to be like this whole thing that we would look forward to to get like a comforter set for like 20 bucks from walmart like that kind of thing and now they have sales all throughout november um and i mean they're okay but they're not like black friday sales they're like regular sales i'm like i want to pay two cents for something i want to pay a dollar for something and they're just not doing that anymore so i don't know if that's like a west coast thing or if like things have changed since covid because like i said i haven't been black friday shopping um in new york since like 2018 so i'm not sure if it's like all around the world that it's like that but i just associated whack black friday shopping with arizona like oh arizona just doesn't do it right my mom said something about maybe arizona doesn't like the commotion because there's like trampling and like people fighting and like you know that kind of thing like going on like at least from my knowledge of it in new york like people would fight like fist fight for like tvs and shit like that um and my mom was like well maybe in arizona they just want to keep the peace and they're like giving the sale there's like an unlimited amount of items that are on sale and they give you like a lot of time to buy it as opposed to like one day and i was like but that takes the fun out of it <laughs> now i'm not promoting like violence i'm not saying like fight over a tv but what i'm saying is I like the thought of a sale that good that I have to fight for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not about like, oh, like, I'm going to fight you for this. But it's like, this sale is so good that I literally can't leave the store unless I have this for $2. Like, I need this for $2. I need it. I didn't even contour. I got distracted. I don't know if I told you guys, but I got my bar stools in and I built them last night. So I'm going to show you guys my new bar stools. I'm so excited about them. That's all I'm doing, I think, on my face. I'm just going to throw on some mascara, some highlight. Oh, my highlight's right here. And call it a day because I have to go through my pigs in a blanket in the oven. Look at that. Let's do some mascara. Doing I did Rare Beauty highlight and I'm gonna do Rare Beauty mascara. Mascara's on. Let's throw on some eyebrows and then I'm ready. Okay, let me just spray my face. Throw some Fenty heat in hot chocolate. let's go put the pigs in a blanket in the oven and then head out well wait for them to cook and then head out i'm not gonna leave it in the oven and leave that's dangerous and irresponsible and who do you think i am all right let me take this with me. 
and it's cold. Literally leaving a mess on my bed, but I don't have time to clean that right now. My bar stools, look how cute! They're so freaking cute, I love them. All right, let me show you guys what I'm wearing for Thanksgiving. I have on um, this black jumpsuit, and then like I said, they, they're asking us to wear a flannel, so I just tie it around my waist. And then I'm throwing on my little Dior Zoop, Amazon, and I'm gonna throw on my little Uggs, my Ugg slipper dupes, hold on. Ugg slipper dupes. And this is my Thanksgiving look. I'm gonna wait for that to be done, and then I'm gonna head over to house number one. And I'll show you guys what I can, but if I don't show you guys too much, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are surrounded by family and loved ones and have the best day ever. I love you guys. These flannels. <gasps> look at that, look at that, look at that. Do we start? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, so much. Mm. Like mm. Where's Rock Dog? Distinguished yet live, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hand hug. Oh. <laughs> As you extend the other hand. Bro. As you extend your hand, you get back up. Hand hug. Why so glum, chum? Your right now. Your How way. was my cornbread? It was alright. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> like, like a You're hey, such, you such a capper. <laughs> Liza said you raved about it. It was good, but I don't know about raving. All right. <laughs> I thought no, it was pretty. It was what? It was good. Thank you. Hater. It was good. No, it was all right. I guess. All right.